Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series where I'm going from Earth to Mars, but our plan is to land on Phobos instead of Mars. Like I mentioned in the earlier parts, um, unfortunately we don't have a base on Phobos to land on. I did try to install HAL Base, but it was extremely broken. Uh, the mesh was all messed up, so there's some significant difference between Orbiter 2010 mesh and Orbiter 2016 that prevents that base from working, which is really unfortunate because I thought it was such a cool base. Uh, all that said, let's uh, switch camera views here and get back into our flight. So in the previous video, we got dialed in. This is Phobos. This is our encounter with Phobos right now. And currently our encounter has us slamming into Phobos, but I'm totally fine with that because it's a fairly small target. And I kind of think of it almost like docking with a satellite versus trying to land on a planet. So so I'm not even worried about trying to set like a minimum altitude of 100 meters or whatever because if, if we're going straight into Phobos, I will just, you know, turn the Vanguard around, use the full power of the main engines just to do a braking maneuver until we get, you know, maybe a kilometer or two above Phobos, which again, it's more like a satellite in terms of its size and everything. Uh, it's a really big satellite, but... I think I think it helps my thinking if I think of it as docking with a satellite versus trying to land on a body, you know, because the because it does it doesn't really have any gravity. I don't even think it registers in orbit MFD. All that said, let's uh, bring up orbit MFD. We're 500 uh, k away from Mars, so we're going to move forward. Um, Let's go down, let's actually, let's go to 400k and see where we're at with our plan, because our plan's probably, you know, going to change. And then, and then we'll go 200, 100, and so on. But we'll start at 400, and if things look pretty solid, we'll skip this spot and just go down to 200k. But let's go forward on this side, let's go forward again, and that's what I thought. We don't see the encounter anymore, which means things have drifted off. Uh, just by 300 uh, K though, so that's not terrible and I'm guessing we might be able to figure it out just with translation, so let's uh, Let's try that. So let's just try a little bit of uh, forward translation. That's not helping backwards so that's helping and While we're testing translation thrusters, so nine is helping Three is helping. Actually, three is helping more than nine was. And let's see if we, any up down helps. So that one's not. So that one is to a very small point. Okay, so that is dialing me in. And I think we're there. Let me go forward on that side. Not quite. You have to be super close to see it in the encounter. Now we should see it. We do. And once again, we're more or less driving through Phobos, which I'm fine with. So let's warp time forward until we're at 200k. I was just thinking in my mind I would like to try to use IMFD again, but it's been super crash-tastic for me in Orbiter 2016. Um, there might be a conflict with something else I have installed, I don't know. And we're already gone. So down to 200 being very careful with our time warp and something I always do worry about with this kind of thing is that you know I, I haven't paid any attention to where Deimos is at so it's possible although highly improbable that while I'm on my way to Phobos I would slam into Deimos again that's highly improbable but not but it's a non-zero chance so back up so we've drifted out a bit um, it didn't take much with translations before, so we're just going to do that again. We'll try the same ones. Three was helping a lot. It's not helping this time, but going the other way this time, one. But that seems maybe a bit slower, so let's try nine. Nine's helping. Let's try eight and two. Eight's helping. So it looks like one, eight, and nine is going to dial us in. So eight's giving us the biggest impact right now, which would be our up-down translation. And now three's helping a little bit, but not much. And 
and what did I say? Eight? Yeah. Let's try here. Okay, so that's having a huge impact right now. Three is having a huge impact. And a little bit of two now. And we're there. Again, we're slamming right into the thing. So let's warp time forward and we'll cut our PET down to 100. Yeah, let's do that. Wait. I'm not actually going to Mars though, so I really should not be paying attention to this. This, this is actually going to mess me up. What I need to watch probably more than that is my encounter MJD. So we're, we're at 31.7. We're going to go to 34.0. So that's what, three days. So let's go to 32.7. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically. Okay, so that I can still use this as a little bit of an indicator, but I want to be careful because, again, I'm not actually going to Mars, so. All right, things have drifted out. Let's try to clean them up again with our translations. Not helping, helping, not helping, helping. And what about this one? Wrong direction. Okay, and not helping. And there we are. And I won't worry about making it super close because I can see that things are changing so rapidly that uh, we're going to have a few more corrections before before we're able to complete this rendezvous. Okay, so again, our date is 34.0. We're at 32.6, so let's go to, let's go to 33.0. So there's 32.7, 8, 9, 33, 0, so we're, we're one day out. Okay, let's translate. Wrong direction, not helping, 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 and not helping. So we need these. Oop, I overshot one of those, that one. And now we need to go this way. And And we're almost back down. It does seem to be getting increasingly, you know, our closest approach wasn't as far off from those from the last time warp. So I will try to dial it in a little bit more closely each time we warp time forward. Struggling a little bit with this one. All right, so there's five, six, four, three, two, and we're there. All right, so again, 34.05. So we're, <clears throat> we're one day out. Let's go to 33.5. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're about a half of a day away. We're only a half day away. Rotation. Translation. Okay, so this direction. And that's not helping. It's definitely getting more expensive now that we're getting closer. Actually, no, it's not. I was just using the wrong translation. My my lateral translation is currently having a huge impact. And then 
that's helping a lot. And we're basically there again. And let's go with that. Now we're looking at 34.05, so that hasn't really changed. So let's go to let's go to 33.8. Thirty-three point five, six, seven, and over there. Slipped out quite a bit there. All right, translation. That one's the wrong way. That's helping quite a bit. And let's try inward outward, not helping, helping a little bit. Forward backward, so it's mostly up down at this point. And a little bit of inward outward. Again, that's doesn't have a whole lot of meaning because I'm faced in some I'm almost retrograde to Mars, but so we're basically back there. And again, the closer I get, the more I'm going to try to just really just like drive my vanguard into the middle of Phobos. Okay, so a little bit of that translation. And good enough for now. So 34.059, 33.8. Let's go to, let's go to, let me actually see if I can see Phobos now. Let me go F9 go outside. So there's Mars, Deimos, Jupiter, Earth, Saturn, Phobos. It's over there. So I need to turn around to see it. Mm -hmm. I, nah, I don't think I'll bother. Alright. So 34.059, let's go to 34.0. So there's 33.8, a little faster, carefully, a little faster. Okay, 33.9, a little faster, a little faster, and there is 34.0, close enough. All right, let me look outside again because I'm wondering. Why is that field of view set like that? How do I change that on the external view? That looks terrible. Everything's fish-eyed. All right, where's Phobos at? Okay, there it is. So it's almost right behind us. Okay, so let's turn that off. Let's go here. So we're now 142k out. Once again, translations. That's helping not much. That's helping not much. That's not helping at all. Mm. It's quite a bit of thrust there, kind of. So I might actually switch to maneuver for the next one like actually set up a maneuver because this feels like it's yeah but again the closer I get the more I want to make sure I'm on track to get where I'm going all right so this is still helping but now you can see you know I'm these translations are getting longer But I, I definitely feel it necessary to keep that closest approach as close to basically zero as possible. Let me see, so that's no longer helping in that direction. So now we need this one. Let me try not helping, helping a little bit. Let's 
Still helping, helping a lot. Okay, we're back where we want to be. And there we are. All right, 34.059, and we're at 33.9, so let's warp time forward. And so that's what we want. You know what? I'm not sure how much time that is. Let me do this. Let me... What is my velocity difference with Phobos? How do I find that out? Weight encounter velocity 2.27. Okay, so let me bring up burn time calculator. So how much distance would it take using the full power of the main engine to eliminate 2.275 to 275? 157 kilometers. So what I want to do now, let me bring up orbit. Let me reference, can I reference Phobos? and put Phobos up onto the HUD. And we'll change to surface so that we can have a, a view of our distance. So we're currently 8 million meters and we need 7. What did I say? 157 kilometers, so we need to get much closer. So I don't think we have to worry necessarily about the date so much anymore. Now I'll just start going by this distance, and we'll get halfway there. So when we're at 4M, we'll see about some kind of update. About right here. All right, we're 12 kilometers out, uh, off, corrections. So it's mostly, uh, relative to my current position, it's mostly plane change, up, down. And we're getting there. A little bit of the inward, a little bit more up, and we're basically there. Let's just get it really tight. And that's going to do it. Let's do this one more time. Let's go down to 2M. And then we'll end this part, go on to the next part. Actually, maybe we'll do this two more times and then go on to the next part. So I'm kind of hoping to land on the next part. Right there, it's 2M. So now we're only one kilometer out. So these are getting, things are starting to finally get so that we're not super far off. And again, the closer I get, the more I'm going to dial that down. That's good enough. Let's do this one more time. We'll go down to 1M. 1, 1,000 kilometer. Well, we overshot it. And ooh, things are happening really fast now. And we're more or less on target. So what, we are, what I want to make sure I do now, Rotation. I want to rotate so that I'm retrograde to Phobos. Let me actually switch to here. That's going towards prograde, which isn't what I want. And that's that's counting down really fast. That's got me scared, because I'm I need to do my braking burn soon. All right, there's a retrograde to Phobos. Come on, slow down, you tank. And again, one last time, we don't have a base unfortunately, so we're just going to find a nice open spot and land on it. So quick bump of translation, just, uh, all right. And we put into burn time calculator two, 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 seven, five. And we're basically right there. So I'm going to control S right here, control P to pause. And our breaking burn is just moments away. So, but we're coming up to 20 minutes. This feels like a good place to park or a good place to stop. Let me switch camera views. Getting really exciting now. If you like this part of the video, leave a comment down below. 
and be sure to tune in to the next part because that's when things are really going to get interesting. I realize going from Earth to Mars with all this, you know, just nothing but blackness and mid-course corrections isn't super exciting, but things are happening now. So appreciate your patience, and I'll see you in the next part.